Hi guys, welcome to another video. Um, today we're going to be talking about our frame calculator. Um, if for everyone that doesn't know, um, on our website we have a frame calculator and you would use this to determine the length of frame that you're going to need versus your leg length. Yeah, um, This is predominantly used for our um, Eclipse and Equinox unicycles. These are like the high-end freestyle unicycles where you want the frame to be as long as it can be um, to keep that seat post clamp right up out of the way for when you're doing tricks, stand-up tricks for instance and things like that. Um, so what I'm going to do is obviously we're going to do another little screen record. Um, I'm going to show you the frame calculator on our website and how to use it and I'm going to show you um, little bits on my unicycle of how to get the information that you need um, from a current unicycle, for instance. Let's get straight into it. Right, so here we are on our website on the Eclipse product. Um, this product looks very similar to the Equinox and then the Equinox in silver. Very, very similar products. Um, they're a very similar unicycle, just the Equinox is a little bit bigger. Um, you can see, obviously, when you're ordering this unicycle, you can pick a seat tube length from the sort of general lengths that usually people buy, um, or you can put in a custom seat tube length. Um, and to find this out, you need to use, obviously, our frame calculator. So just in the description here where it says frame calculator, if we click that, it opens up our frame calculator. Um, if you're not on the unicycle product, it's at the bottom of the page on every page, to be honest with you. Scroll right at the bottom. It's next to the sport calculator and things. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be inputting all of these details on the left hand side to get the details on the right hand side. Um, and you can see the seat tube length here, which currently says 362, is the one you would input back on the product page here, giving you your, your custom seat tube length. So starting off at the top, you would do the saddle depth. And you can see from the diagram here, it's from the middle of the saddle to the bottom of the saddle. So if I show you on my unicycle here, that's from right at the top here, right in the middle of the curve, right to the bottom of this edge, whatever that measurement is there. Um, next is visible seat post. Now, this is a sort of what you would like, to be honest with you. Um, we've set it as a basic as 10 millimetres, but you could have anything really. You could have it at zero, but we probably don't recommend that because you still need to get access to your clamp. So 10 mil of visible seat post sticking out the top of the frame, no, not too bad. The next measurement that you need to put in is your leg length. Now this is called measured length. So you can quickly find this out by taking one of your old unicycles and measuring it. So you get a tape measure. Here's my unicycle again, right from the top of the saddle, all the way down to the pedal when it's at the very bottom and that is your leg length. If you're comfortable on that unicycle, that's your leg length. So jump back to the calculator and we input that in there. Then you need to input what crank length you've got. So let's say you had 114 cranks on your unicycle or 89 mil cranks on your unicycle. You need to put that in. And then finally, you need to do the pedal depth. And pedal depth is really simple. It's just how thick your pedals are. So from there to there, yeah. And then this at the end will give you the three measurements. So it'll give you the minimum seat post you need with inside your frame, which is obviously 80 millimeters in this case. Um, your seat tube length, which in this case is 373 millimeters. And the overall frame length. So if you stood the frame flat on a table, from the bearing holders right the way up to the top of the frame, that's how long, how big the frame is. 
it's fairly simple to use, to be honest with you. There's no massive technical things that you need to do. Um, you're looking for the three red measurements and you're inputting the blue measurements on the left hand side. Um, and obviously when you've got this information, you can go back and you can use it to buy a unicycle, for instance, or you can use it on the frames as well. So if you buy an Eclipse frame to upgrade your unicycle, you can have it cut to any specific length that you want. And you can use the calculator in the same way. And I think that's about it. It's not rocket science. Um, if anybody's got any other questions or things that you'd like us to explain, please stick them in the comments below. Um, it would help us massively if you could give us a, a subscribe as well. Other than that, thank you for watching, guys. Cheers.